Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. So today we're going to take a look at a pen. And if you are a regular viewer to this channel, you know I like a bargain. Well, in the clearance aisle of my local Walmart, uh, they had uh, a few of these on the shelf in both black and blue and I opted for blue and I don't know what these sold for originally it looks like three well it says it was three ninety nine but uh, it was marked down to a dollar a dollar so but underneath the dollar sticker is a sticker for three ninety nine and I don't know if I can tell by that what the original retail price was because well the whole thing's coming off now um, it looks like this got marked down twice so I just don't know I don't know how much these originally sold for um, so whatever it was uh, I got them for a buck and I thought, okay, for a dollar, we'll try. Um, this says new, not sure when these were released. This is a Bic Revolution, long-lasting, retractable ball pen. There are four of them in blue ink. And here, it will tell you 73% ocean-bound recycled plastic. I guess that's... It's made up of 73% recycled plastic. Um, and then it says, due to variations in the recycled raw material that is collected, the barrel color may vary. All right. Um, kind of has... Uh, some green you know it looks very green it's in a plain cardboard box the paperboard used in the packaging is made from 100 percent recycled content so that's good and then on the back it says bic revolution long lasting retractable ball pen is made of 73 percent ocean bound recycled plastic together we can help write our planet's future join the revolution it says ocean bound plastic is plastic material collected within 50 kilometers of a shore or a waterway that leads to the ocean, preventing it from entering the ocean. All right. Big performance policy. You're going to love this pen, or they'll replace it for you. Uh, recycle the pen through something called TerraCycle. Um, recyclable paper box. All right. So the copyright date is 2020, BIC USA. The pens are made in China. Uh, so there you go, UPC code. They even have a little, little sprout on it. So there's the pen, or the box of the pens. Let's get the pens out. There's four of them. Let's take a close look at one. Um, these are all the same in terms of the barrel color. It is sort of a opaque blue. It is a wide barrel. You can see it has sort of a textured grip here uh, at the base. It has a cap that unscrews and this is your refill here so should you want to refill these where you find the refills I don't know uh, Walmart certainly didn't have those just the pens uh, and then uh, you have the the BIC logo embossed there you have a pocket clip and here is our so 
it, how it comes back is it's got a little button here you have to press up. So it's not a spring it's not spring loaded in that it's just a double click back up. It's a release back up. The uh, top has a an opening there so you could tie this to a string. Um, uh, if it was a communal pen and you didn't want it to walk away or you wanted to wear it on a lanyard or something around your neck uh, it looks like you could you could it would work that way as well okay so there's the pen out fairly com very comfortable to hold um, uh, let's see how it writes okay um, we're gonna write with this Bic Revolution pen here but interesting of note that uh, nowhere on the box uh, is it noted what kind of point it has. So I don't know if this is a fine point, a medium point, a bold point. Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to have to write with it and sort of figure it out. I, I, it would be, Bick didn't tell us what kind of ballpoint they put on this pen. Hmm. Um, I have to tell you, it, well, let me see. What do I have, um, it could be, here's a big standard big crystal. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is a 1.0. Yeah, I think this is a one. Um, it's not, it feels a bit finer, frankly, than the standard crystal here. Um, but it also has a little slightly different ink. If we come down here, you might be able to see uh, it's subtle, uh, but the Revolution ink is just a, a tad lighter. And then so okay um, yeah it's you know it's an okay pen uh, if you like a retractable um, I don't know that I like it any more say than than this uh, I think the What's cool about it is if you are keen on using recycled materials uh, in what you purchase, then this pen may, uh, that may be an enticement. Uh, it does have a nice, if, if you also, if you like a wider um, barreled pen, although there are lots of options, uh, including other ones from Bic for a wider um, barrel pen, uh, so you could certainly, uh, choose a number of things, but I think really it's the environmental, um, angle 
that maybe people might respond to here with this pen. You know what? For a buck, I got four of them, and uh, uh, I'll use them, uh, take them to work. Uh, they will get used. Uh, I was curious about them. Uh, they are, you know, again, very bickish in terms of how they feel, uh, in terms of writing. And again, uh, I think, though, um, you know, the, the biggest asset of this pen is its use of recycled materials. So, there it is, the Bic Revolution. Thank you for spending a few minutes with me as I experienced this pen. Um, if you like the videos here on Always Analog, please share, like, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you again real soon, right here on Always Analog.